Hey guys, why don't we make some better videos? I need to make some better videos. I really do need to make some better videos. Hey there guys, thanks for watching. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever your time of day it is for you. Um, today, I wanna make a video of making videos. And this is about shooting these YouTube videos that I've been doing for years now. And uh, you know, just even if it's not for YouTube, if it could just be for your own memories, uh, these are just a, a couple uh, ideas or a few ideas that I have learned to use over the years to help improve my videos. And please keep in mind, I am a long way, a long way from uh, perfecting these, and I've got an awful lot to learn. Um, this whole thing, though, is also um, based upon the type of equipment you have. Um, you can have a DSLR, you can have a mirrorless camera, or a nice Rode shotgun microphone, um, action cams, uh, or just your phone. So this video, applies to everybody even especially especially people that just use their phone right now i'm shooting this particular video on an iphone 10 okay i do use these other items and this is all my equipment that i use for shooting video i use this iphone 10 um, i also use a sony it's a fdr X3000 4K action cam. It's a decent camera. It has really, really good stabilization. I use a small little Joby tripod with it. Uh, this is what I use a lot. Uh, I use this in, in conjunction with my phone. Uh, the other item I use uh, is a GoPro. This is an old Hero 3 Plus GoPro. Still works really good. Um, it has its limitation. I don't like that rainbow look that GoPros give but um, you know it, it is an excellent camera and it's what I first used when I first started doing videos that and an older iPhone so this that's it basically a couple tripods oh and the only other thing that I use I have a very inexpensive lavalier lapel microphone that I'm using right now it works really well it was really inexpensive I think it was a lavalier pop 3 my improvements that I hope to make someday uh, really soon is I do want to go to a more like a mirrorless or a DSLR type camera with a Rode microphone shotgun on it and a better tripod that to me um, is my next acquisition when I can afford it um, the first thing I'd like to talk about is when you're out there and you're holding you're holding your camera it could be your your phone it could be keep it steady keep it steady and as you're walking keep it as slow and as steady and not shake it as possible of course when you're walking you're going to be getting this this movement on it so you may be better off just to go ahead and leave the tripod whether on a tree or in the rock or if you don't have a tripod place your phone in a position where you can just take these videos at a, a place where it's a stationary um, area. They'll come out much better and they won't have that shaky moving feeling um, to go through. So that is it. I would say um, that's one of the more important things to do on these videos is just to keep this video nice and steady, keep it at a nice pace, don't jump around, don't do all these different, you know, look at this, look at that, look at that. It's just gonna drive whoever's watching it crazy. And believe me, I've done it. All my videos, I look at them, I, I critique them, and I go, oh my God, that looks like crap, you know? So that's probably one of the number one items that I wanna talk about. The next item is, you know when you're, 
whether you put the setting on your phone to do this or your camera, or during the editing post video process of editing, uh, you like to do that where you're walking along and you speed it up. So the, the trail is just moving ahead of you fast as fast as possible. I suggest if you do that, and I like doing that myself, uh, just to do it for no more than three to four to five seconds. Any longer than that, and believe me, I look at my own, I start to get nauseated. I mean, I start to get like, oh my God, you know, stop doing this, slow down. Let me uh, stop this video right now. I'm sick of watching it. So I would, in my opinion, take those fast moving uh, trail walks and s make them shorter. Yeah, and on another note on that speed up thing, sometimes it's maybe just better to go with a time lapse. Uh, I really enjoy doing time lapses. There's all sorts of uh, situations where you can do a time lapse, and I do love watching them a lot better than I watch that speed up video where where you uh, are walking along. I do, however, like um, slow motion when it comes to waterfalls or streams. Another one would be when you approach a vista or a very nice area where there's good scenery and you want to pan around to uh, see this don't go <laughs> you know looking for the uh, uh, video to look at everything within a few moments take your time go real slow very slow very steady when you think you're going too slow, slow it up even more. Do some panoramic um, stills. And after each video segment, put a, a number of still photos in there, which could be a panoramic view and some other really nice. Pick out your best photos of that particular area where you had just hiked and then slap them in there. Another big mistake I used to made, make is that when I didn't, when I got lazy and I didn't feel like using a tripod, I would take my phone and I would just hold it and do my shots. Or in worst, worst case scenario, I would take this GoPro and I would hold it like this. And for some reason, on this GoPro, this finger had shown up in so many of my videos because I'm holding it like this. And the last thing you want to see is my big dirty fingernail hanging out over the shot. And I'll put in a, uh, an example here for you for that. But that's keep your fingers away from it. The best thing to do is leave it, put it on a small tripod, and uh, that way you uh, won't get your hands or your fingers in the middle of your shot. On that same note, also, take every once in a while, carry a, a, one of those lens cleaning cloth in your equipment. Wipe down your lenses. Every, I, I, I got to a point where I was wiping down my lenses on my cameras and my phone, like every hour. My puppy's in here right outside right now, wanting to come in and wondering who the hell I'm talking to. And I'm s staring at me. Hey, Dexter. I guess at the end now it just comes down to post video editing and uh, I found that unless you have some epic adventure um, keep these videos short uh, 10 15 minutes tops when you're doing something like I'm doing now going over a piece of gear uh, unless you're out there hiking you're in the Sierras you're up in the Smokies you're someplace really beautiful make it into a one two three part video I find that those longer longer videos I'm just scrolling through them real fast uh, just to get to the end the next thing I would do too and I spoke about this earlier is is audio audio is such a 
big part of making videos. Um, you could be walking along the path and talking and you can barely hear what somebody's saying because of wind noise, get that wind noise, or you just can't hear, your, your, your camera may be in a housing or it just may too be too far away from you. Uh, so and the other thing is music. Um, I think you can get real creative with music, but you don't want to just all of a sudden blast the music out at somebody. A good example is, um, I mean, you can use any type of music. It could be hard rock and roll. It could be a dramatic, cinematic type of music. It could be country western. Um, maybe keep the music down to a minimum. Don't put that much music in it or just make it where you can barely hear it in the background. I.B. Tat, who's one of my favorite uh, YouTubers, you know, he came on with his videos with bam, hard rock and roll in the beginning and it worked fine for him. He did a great job with that. I really, I really enjoyed that music. I think he got his music from Epidemic Music. Uh, and, or you can just stick with, if you go to YouTube Creator, you go to the create thing YouTube has a lot of music now your editing programs there's a ton of them out there I, I personally I've used iMovie a lot I when I'm on my iPhone doing that I, I use that uh, video editing program editing's a real important part of it audio is a real important part of it getting creative with your videos and going through them and watch your video if the music's too loud adjust it if it's too choppy cut it um, you know take clips that are make it better don't draw things out and I think that uh, in the long run you're gonna enjoy your videos and watch them get progress to become better I go back to look at some of my original videos they're kind of hilarious I mean they're long they're kind of boring <laughs> they're shaky they're so unprofessional and so I was like saying oh man I'll just erase these but that would be a wrong thing to do um, you can look back in those and you can learn from those mistakes and it's entertaining just to see what you did back then I was promoting equipment that I don't think I have any more of it right now and you everybody's everybody every one of your you, youtubers out there do the same thing you come across a backpack that you absolutely love this is the greatest thing this is you know the this is it this is it two months later uh, you know I'm gonna give you a review now of what I've done on this backpack and now I'm using this or I'm using this shelter or this hammock or on this sleep system or this pot everything just changes constantly and that's good that's good that's fine but you look back on these videos and you can see that well look at I I, I thought this was the greatest thing and I'm promoting it and I'm telling everybody to use it and now I'm not using it so anyway thank you again for watching these videos of mine I will get better uh, I really do want to hear comments of two things first of all how what you feel can better improve your videos or even you know critique mine or also tell me what you do not like to see in videos or what really makes you just turn the off button and say I'm not going to watch any more of this you probably have done that already on this one and if you for those who struggled through all this and are still watching thank you very much um, please subscribe I'm I'm hoping tomorrow but it's windy out right now to uh, do an overnight uh, kayaking to this uh, deserted island in my area and see if I can spend the night out there but if I can't do that next week or the week after I'm either heading up and do a section of the foothills trail uh, with another youtuber or I might go up to the Smoky Mountains and uh, meet and yet another youtuber and uh, do a hike with him uh, who knows regardless either way in the next week or two between actually between now and the end of May I'll be doing three more um, uh, hikes up in the Smoky Mountains or somewhere in that area. So again, thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell, and uh, until next time, thank you for watching Following Walker's World. I don't know about this video. I hope you're still watching.